So if you've watched any of the demos on PX Backup, you'll know that Portworx Backup works with Portworx Enterprise Storage. That's a no-brainer. But today we're going to talk to you about how it works with non-Portworx Enterprise customers, meaning you don't have to be running Portworx Storage to use PX Backup. And so PX Backup works with major cloud providers such as GKE, uh, Amazon EKS, or Azure Kubernetes Service. And today we're going to actually focus on uh, EBS and uh, the Kubernetes environment in Amazon Web Services. So if you have an EKS cluster, as I do here, we'll just go ahead and get the nodes to show that we are running 115. And you can add a cluster that doesn't have Portwork Storage running. And what you'll do is give it a name. And you'll have to copy the command that installs Stork to your uh, cluster. So here you can click on the copy button and paste this, which will allow PX Backup to talk to non-Portwork uh, cloud-based um, Kubernetes environments. Once you've done that, go ahead, go back to the screen and select the kubectl view command and copy that kubectl into the screen, or you can choose a file, select Kubernetes service as EKS and your cloud account, which is associated with Amazon Web Services. Once you've done that, Ignore the Portworx cluster detail endpoint because you're not running it and go ahead and add your cluster. Now you can see we have two clusters. One is running Portworx storage and you'll see that PX version shows up and the nodes and volumes and drive shows up and the storage in Portworx Enterprise shows up. When you're using a cloud-based Kubernetes environment such as EKS or Azure, it'll look like the below where you won't see all the information on the right because it's not running Portworx Enterprise Storage, but backup will still be lit up green and you can go ahead and use backup. So I'm running MySQL database in our EKS cluster using an EBS PVC. So we've used the built-in GP2 storage class. And you can see here that PVC uh, as well as the, the PV and the deployment are available in this namespace. And we can go ahead and back up this entire namespace. To do so, we just give it a name. This works like any other backup that you may do with PX Backup. And you select a backup location, as well as whether to use a scheduler or not, or a pre or post rule, and optionally a backup label. Here I'm just labeling it storage is using EBS. And we can look in our volumes uh, in the Amazon Web Services console. You can see that volume is shown and if we double check in our EKS environment, we can get the PVCs and see that that PVC name is the same PVC name that shows up in our uh, EBS console, showing that we are in fact using the uh, GP2 storage class and using PX backup to go ahead and back that up. So if you look at the details for the backup, it does show up as an Amazon icon when you're using non-Portwork storage for your PVCs. If you're using Portwork storage, it will show up a little Portworx icon and it'll be the same as you go to different cloud providers uh, using their storage drivers. And that's how you sort of know that, you know, it's targeting that uh, Amazon based storage uh, PVC. And so this view will actually get updated with the rest of the backup. We back up the volumes first. And so if we give another quick refresh, you can see that it comes up as a success and we show the details. And this shows that the persistent volume claim, the deployment and the persistent volume backed by EBS are all backed up and you're now able to restore it. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can use Portwork backup in non Portworx enterprise storage environments such as Azure, EKS and GK. Until next time, take care.